Hey everyone! In this video, I'm going to be unboxing a mystery box that I got from Toy USA. So it costs $200 without shipping and the tax. It would be $218 overall, but I'm just going to say $200. And there should be four different pops in there. Sorry if my voice sounds kind of off or if I start coughing in the video. I'm still getting over a high fever and um, coughing that I've had since Veterans Day. So... <clears throat> I'm like trying to get over it. I actually called in sick twice this past week from work. So I work Monday through Thursday. So I had Monday off because I work a government job. And then I came in Tuesday. I had some form of cough. But when I woke up on Wednesday and also on Thursday, I had an awful cough. I had an awful fever. So I've been having not that much sleep. But finally, I have the, enough strength and I don't have an, a lot of coughing fits, so I can actually go on with making videos for now. <laughs> Until then. <laughs> so, for this $200 mystery box, the theme was a mixture. It was Disney, um, WWE, Scott Pilgrim, Dragon Ball Z, and a bunch of other stuff. So, I was really interested in this because a lot of the top tiers were Disney-related pops, and I'm really into collecting Disney. And... Um, metallic, Di metallic Mickey Mouse was one of the top ones, and there was like a golden Frieza as well from Dragon Ball Z, but I would also be down to get um, Glow in the Dark, Sally, Day in the Dead version. Also, there was Dapper Jack, Dapper Sally, there was um, a Goofy that was themed to Halloween Town from <laughs> Kingdom Hearts, as well as Hey Hey, um, Glow in the Dark, um... Yeah, Glow in the Dark Zero and a bunch of other stuff. I'm like looking at their picture that they posted on Instagram, but it's covered with text. So um, those are the main ones that I really want. There's also, yeah, the Jolly Roger Skellington from um, Disneyland, which was an exclusive. Um, Crush, Maleficent. There were so many different ones from Tier 1, so I was just like, I need to go for it. And I have lately been limiting how much I spent on mystery boxes as well as Funko Pops on total. Um, just because the holiday season is rolling up. But yeah, I had to splurge on this one because my chances for getting something at least that I like was very high. So I wouldn't mind getting, like I said, Disney. But I also like Dragon Ball Z and Scott Pilgrim. Not too interested in any WWE. But I'll take whatever <laughs> I can get. Um, the main point is that I get something that I really like. And mystery boxes are always a hit or miss. And... Um, I don't know. I just like the mystery of it. I like taking that risk. And it just helps to grow my collection. So, I didn't tell you what box number I got. Hmm, <laughs> forgot. But I got box number 13. So usually when I pick boxes, it's either spur of the moment of getting a sense of a number that just pops out um, from my head. So usually they number their boxes from 1 to 100 or 1 to 50, depending on what their mystery box is and how many they have for that supply. And usually I have a go-to set of lucky numbers that include my favorite numbers as well as my boyfriend's favorite numbers. So his numbers are 4 and 44. And for me, my favorite numbers are 7, 13... Um, sometimes 16 and 18, as well as, um, did I say 17? Also 17. So yeah, um, I definitely went with my favorite number 13 this time because something just told me get 13. So yeah. So yeah, for these boxes, the $200 ones, they do double box them. So I already got the first layer out. Ooh, and that was a mistake. There were a bunch of packing peanuts on the bottom. <laughs> I'm definitely going to have to clean after this. I have a bunch of other boxes to open, so yay me. <laughs> so let's get to opening this. So I've been watching a lot of pop porn and flicks um, videos. They had finished their $200,000 series and now they finished their $4,500 dollar pop Funko Pop mystery box series as well and they've been got, getting a lot of um hard stacks so that would be pretty cool if I get a hard stack too um I only got one it's um Tony the Tiger up there but yeah I don't know I'm not that lucky when it comes to um what's it called 
to Toy USA. So I feel one that's not in a pop protector. And then the other ones are in soft pop protectors too. So I might even pull out the grail without knowing. So I'm definitely going to have to calculate. Overall, I do use Stashpedia for my pricing. So I'm going to pull out the one that's not in a... A pop protector. So here is the first one in three, two, one. Oh, cool. So this one is Peter Pan, and I definitely do not have him. He is a Hot Topic exclusive, and um, it's interesting that there's no other pops listed on the back. So I guess he was on his own. He is a pretty cool pop. I'm excited that at least this pop is not something that I have and hopefully for the rest of the pops they're not ones I have as well because that's always a plus for me so this one is actually $30 that's pretty cool so um, I forgot to mention that minimum guaranteed value is actually a hundred dollars so I think actually <coughs> sorry I think actually I might hit value I mean, more than value, hopefully, because that's already $30. I can't imagine the other ones equaling, I don't know, yeah, equaling over, oh, only $100, because I have three more pops left, so that's a good sign, I guess. So yeah, the next pop I'm going to pull, like I said, I have no idea which one is going to be the grail, so I might accidentally pull out the grail even before I can realize it, so in three, two, one. Oh, cool. So um, we got Elliot. So he is from ET. Sorry for the glare, guys. Uh, it's definitely tough because this isn't a pop protector. So I, he definitely wasn't on tier one. So I want to say that this wasn't the top grill for my box yet. Um, it looks like he is holding some Reese's pieces. So if I remember from the movie, it's been a while. Um, but he led ET the alien, I think, into another room of some sort or somewhere um, to get him. Uh, to another location by laying down pieces of rice, uh, rice, <laughs> pieces of Reese's pieces. There you go. I don't know. I could be wrong. I need to rewatch it. It was one of my favorite rides when they still had it in Universal Studios Hollywood. So yeah, this is a pretty cool pop. Here is the backside. It would have been definitely cool getting E.T. the alien, pretty cute. And then the other one in this set is Gertie. Yeah. So yeah, pretty cool pop. I'm pretty sure he might be worth a lot too. So, or maybe a decent price. Yeah, so he is 30. Yeah, it's definitely weird that all of them came in soft protectors except for Peter Pan, because he's 30 and he's 30. So, now I'm questioning. Um, okay, so two more pops left. Like I said, I have no idea which one is going to be the top tier one pop. So I'm going to guess that it's not this one. So three, two, one. Oh, this didn't come in the pop protector. I felt like it did. Um, so this is the Queen of Hearts and she has her little hedgehog. This is the Hot Topic exclusive. So this little hedgehog was used to be kind of like the ball for when they play croquet in the, in, um, the movie. Because she's a big fan of croquet and she always absolutely has to win. So here's the side, the back side. And it looks like the other um, pieces in this collection are also villains from Disney. And here is the other side view. Pretty cool pop. I don't have her. I don't have that many Disney villains in my collection. So she's definitely a cool one to have. So I'm thinking I might hit maybe 130 at this point because, yeah, this one was 21. So I think I did lose on this box now that I'm looking at it because right now I'm at 81 for three pops. <sighs> it's kind of sad, but I'm just glad that I don't have any repeats. So this is definitely the tier one pop. So I'm hoping it's really something good or something that I really want for my collection. So in three, two, one. Oh, cool. So this is Crush. So I'm definitely glad that I got him. I definitely didn't hit value because I think the last time I checked or heard was this guy was 45. So it's okay. <laughs> but he is a pretty cool pop. Here are the other pops from this collection. I know Bruce is 
I think the top valued pop for this collection. So I'm glad that I got him. He's pretty cool. He's a really cute turtle. So yeah, let's just double check, but I'm pretty sure he's only um, 45. No, I am wrong. He is 57. <laughs> so overall, we had 138 in value. So I lost $62. So this would be considered a lose. But in my book, it is a win because I do have four new pops that I do not have for my collection. So that's pretty cool. So I definitely did get a lot of Disney pops and then one that's, I guess, is Universal Studios or a movie related pop. So I'm pretty excited for my pools. I think I'm going to keep them for now, especially Crush. Um, I might end up trading or selling these two, maybe even um, Elliot as my collection grows. But overall, it was a good box. So um, I'm still going to invest in their company. I know right now they're still doing a $100 box right now. And it was like 300 boxes. And the really top grail pop was um, Elvis Presley in like a golden suit. And the rate of winning him is 1 out of 300. So I looked at the different um, offers that they have for each tier. Um, and I didn't really feel confident in... If I, whatever mixture of Funko Pops that I got or get. And for that one, it's $100 and then guaranteed $50 value. So, yeah, I was just like, uh, I'm already risking money on this $200 box. So, yeah, so I'm really happy with what I got. And yeah, it's a lose again, value wise, but it's a win when it comes to getting Funko Pops that I would definitely be collecting and putting in my collection behind me. So if you like this video, make sure that you click the like button. Also make sure that you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And thank you very much if you have subscribed. Um, make sure that you follow me on my different social media accounts. I'm going to link them in the description as well as link information to Toy USA. So you can also follow them on Instagram and also see what their past mystery boxes are and what their current mystery box is. And also definitely make sure that you read the descriptions when you um, want to invest in one of their mystery boxes because they are very detailed on how um, the condition of their Funko Pops are. Because I didn't really look at the Funko Pops thoroughly, but they do not guarantee that they will come in mint condition so be wary of that so definitely read the description of the mystery boxes before you invest and get frustrated when it does arrive um so yeah and yeah that's pretty much it so thanks again for watching and hope you have a good day so bye